Bella here um, and I'm going to show you how to record your voice uh, to send it in for a virtual choir mix. So the first thing you need to do is get device number one with the backing track or reference track that you want to listen to when you're singing. So I've got it here um, and it, I've got it on a laptop. This could be a laptop, a tablet, a phone, any kind of device that plays music and something you can plug headphones into. So I'm going to open my backing track but I'm not going to play it yet, it's just ready to go. The next thing I need to do is to plug my headphones in. So I'm going to plug my headphones into that device with the backing track on and I'm just going to put one earbud in. Uh, this just means that I can hear myself sing a bit better. I would recommend doing this if you can. It generally ends up um, that you'll have a better performance um, and you'll be slightly more in tune because you can actually hear the, the sound that you're making. So I would put one earbud in and leave one out. If you've got over their head uh, headphones, uh, you can just take one ear off and kind of have it here. Okay, so I've got my backing track ready to go. The next thing I need is my voice recorder. So. On my second device here, I'm using my iPad, but you, you could use your phone, or if your laptop or anything does have a recording function, a microphone, then you can totally use that as well. So I've got my voice memo here. Not all phones and tablets come with this pre-installed, but you can find loads for free on the App Store, and you can just have a look at the reviews to see which ones are worth getting. Um, so I've got my voice memo here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a flat surface near my face, and you can see it just over here. Um, and I'm going to press record. So that's there, it's recording and it's ready to record me. So I'm going to go back to my backing track and it doesn't matter if your recording picks up like a cough or you moving around at the beginning or end of your track because I can edit that out. So don't worry too much about kind of putting it down and then putting your backing track on, that is fine. So. I'm recording, I'm going to press play on my backing track, I'll be able to hear it in here but the key thing is that it won't be picked up by the recording so we're not going to have your voice and the backing track on the recording, it will just be your voice. So I can hear my backing track now, I can sing along to the song and just my voice is being recorded into my device. So the next thing you need to do, uh, you press stop on your recording and you're gonna send that to me or whoever's in charge of your virtual choir. But if it's a raise your voice uh, effort, then it will be me. So get that sent to me um, and uh, we can put that all together and we can sing all together. Cool. I look forward to getting your submissions. Bye.